there's a tumbleweed sort of going on. We're probably going to be in this room here, I'm afraid. Uh, but there we go. So we'll try and get that to work so that we can, we can do all of uh, that stuff. So, who's first? Let me start, sorry. Right, I'd like to uh, talk to people about social media surgeries, how you run them, what you're making of them. And the other thing I'd like to do is to have a nap. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle of Nick having a nap, the two of us are going to do a session on open data called The Argument Against no Open Data, Stop It Now. Just a cue for me to go to the face, isn't it? Revolution will not be from a separation. Can we start queuing around here maybe if you want to talk about something? Hadley's next, what do you want to do, Hadley? <laughs> Everyone, can we just find down a bit? Silence! Thank you, Harry. Let's <laughs> not piss off Harry. Um, I'd like to do a session on open data, how we convince our colleagues it's actually worthwhile. What do we do with all this fear and skepticism and confusion? Yeah. Also, is Sam Smith here? Okay, my society want to run a session asking what local authorities want from my society. Right, John. Hello, I'm John Popham. I want to do a session on online video, the gateway to social media, based on my experience of that being the thing that engages people who would think they're not into social media and then leads them onto other things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Who's next? Yeah. An hour ago, I wasn't going to do anything, but I'm now am. I'm going to do two, one with me and one with Dan in a second. But my one is going to be the shop camp one that never was. How do we actually get senior management and frontline staff and all the people who don't come to these events here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Carrie from FutureGov. Um, I want to do a session that moves beyond the comms and engagement, which we talk about a lot and is of course important, but I want to start to think about how do we use the web and web technology to transform and properly change how we deliver services, so a bit more sort of crunchy edge stuff. Yay. Yay. <laughs> 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 right, who's up next? Ben? Uh, can I pitch two? Yep. Yeah. Right, time's quick. Okay, uh, first one, I uh, want to do something about social media and emergencies. I'm assuming everybody here thinks that social media has a role in civil emergencies. So I want to look at how we deal with scale and speed in major emergencies, malicious uses, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the other one uh, is very unfocused, but there's a load of people here who organise kind of real get-togethers. I organise a jelly, people organise tea camp, brew camp, that sort of thing. Uh, and I think um, uh, it would be great to do a workshop just sort of sharing ideas, looking at new ways of working in the sector and also with communities. Stick up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm Dan from Warsaw Council. Uh, we ripped up, ripped, shamelessly ripped off our... Uh, GMP 24 and did Warsaw 24. And uh, Shropshire shamelessly ripped, ripped off you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Guilty! So it's something about that, but also something about how, how that sort of model could work and how we could make it even better and do other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Who's next? Okay. Um, uh, uh, I've got two. Um, I'm Curious C on Twitter, and you might have seen talking about identity. So I want to do a session about digital identity. Um, how do you reconcile civic identity? How do you manage the fact that you've got different digital identities and they need to do different things? Yay. 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 Um, and then I also want to pick up the agile conversation, not so much agile programming, but how do you get organisations ready to use agile methods? Yes. 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 Nice one. Who's next? Ingrid. Um, kind of a performance management of this stuff. How do we set objectives? How do we measure? What are we doing? A bit of uh, numbery stuff. Yeah. 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 Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got three, depending on how many you want to do. Uh, SharePoint, a SharePoint dropping no. clinic. No. No. Somebody <laughs> 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 um, Business models for public sector. Business model, an innovating business model. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. And the last one, innovation games. So playing games in order to facilitate what you're trying to do as a Yay! technology team. Yeah. All up to that one. Let's go. Hello. Let's go there. Who's next? 
Tom from Kent, a little bit different to the stuff. Uh, you've beaten up your IT people, your HR people, and you've got Yammer. What happens next? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It costs you a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Hello, Kate, so host of Watch County Council. I want to run a transport hack event for the West Midlands, and I'd like people to come along and tell me uh, their ideas and help me do it. Cool, stick it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to group, uh, we're transitioning with Kate up from a uh, community based model to a uh, social network based model, and we're looking at ideas about how to do that. Uh, okay, knowledge hub stuff. Do you want to hear about that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Pete Lancaster from Warwickshire County Council. I'd like to talk to you about how you can redesign your site for a mobile device with tablet for nothing. Mobile, mobile council websites for nothing. Yeah. Yes. 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 Not at the same time as Walsall 24. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is my personal agenda. Just bring it up. Liz. Okay, right. Hi, I'm Liz Azian. Uh, me Still and Ingrid can't. are going to facilitate a session called the Really Useful event. Um, it's basically an event that's going to run over six months ab about open data and how local government can use open data and develop apps or sites or whatever stuff with open data and make it really useful for citizens as well as employers of local government. So what we would want is hopefully discuss how we can make the first event, which is on the 1st of July, really useful. We've already sent out invites to some people in this room, but we would really want is your kind of feedback on how we should structure the date and the next six months to come. Fabulous, thank you. That's right. I'm, I'm actually putting my foot down now. We will have no more sessions at this event about events, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we may well disappear at the moment. Awesome. So, uh, who's more, next? More sessions about that. I'm Simon from Birmingham. I've got two potential topics to talk about. One is WordPress for council websites. How far can and should we push it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the other one? Uh, the other one is the Amazon Kindle as a platform for Ooh. service Ooh. delivery. Yeah. Is there anything we can do with it that's interesting? Yeah, yeah. 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 put that with that. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Local authorities are releasing lots of data, but they're finding it quite hard to get people to do something with it. So how about the idea of a local authority involving every school, particularly the six formers and the, um, the uh, design and technology things, doing a local authority-wide prize for the school that, does the that takes a page from the council website and makes a much better version of their own using either uh, you know, clever data stuff or just good presentations. My name is Martin, I work at Trotter Council, I run a small website called Project Whip. Um, I just wanted to do a session about blogging, it's fallen a little bit out of favour recently, but how it can lead to a more transparent and open uh, website design. Uh, procedure, if you like. It's one well, to the so design. Blogging, blogging. Uh, yeah, for website, local government websites. Okay, blogging in local government websites. Who's yeah. up for yeah. chats about blogging? Yeah, there's a few blogs. Yeah. Stick it up in one of those, wherever you like. Right, who's next? Nikki. Um, hello, I'm Nikki from Talk About Local. Um, we're doing a social media safari today, um, all uh, over lunchtime and just during the day in the main hall. And it's basically about local gov hunting down and taking part in, in local conversations outside of their own spaces online and the importance of that. And as that, I've got a bit of, a bit of an ESOPS fable I'd like to discuss. Um, that I heard, it's a tale I heard at the first local gov camp I went to in 2009. And it's a story of the wizard with a cat, his fans and their council in Sutton in London. Sharon O'Day told me all about this. I've looked into the story and it's kind of the perils of ignoring those online conversations. Hello again. Um, I'm working with Wikipedia on a project called Glam. It's got nothing to do with high heels and flares. Oh. Galleries, sorry, <laughs> galleries, libraries, archives and museums. So I'd like to talk to anybody from those organisations about that project. And anybody who's looking to move content from a council or other website onto Wikipedia or content into Wikimedia Commons, which is a media repository for open source media. So anybody who's interested in that? Yep. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yes. 
Oh, I think I'm sorry, Nick. I think I'm going to have to. We're running out of space. So what? Nap, no, no, you can't put that. Nap, nap's going up here. <laughs> <laughs> all encompassing thing. I'll just this. go to the least interesting. That means the nap. The nap stops now. So anyone who sees Nick entering the room, I'd be very afraid. Well, uh, William Perry from Talk About Local, all over the country. There are hundreds of very, very good hyperlocal websites. People are having conversations about what's going on in your borough, they're talking about you, the council. Um, so we want to have a little session about how councils can actually work with those websites without killing them. Uh, I often yeah. use the metaphor of a sow rolling over and crushing the piglets. Uh, <laughs> that, that kind of thing. We often see very clumsy, clunky engagement by councils with local websites. How can you do it smartly? How can you do it well? How can you help people create sites to find a voice online? Yeah. Yay. Yay. Two o'clock. <laughs> no, <laughs> time. That's not a big enough run. I now like Simon because I did want to talk about WordPress um, and you stole it from me. But what I do want to talk about actually is, is see if we can get some really good examples of local government using WordPress and also actually take questions from people thinking about using WordPress or not sure whether WordPress can do stuff to see, because a lot of people don't realise how much WordPress can do, so I'd like to answer questions about people wanting to use WordPress as well. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, the other one was. Um, filming council meetings. I'd like to have a session where yes, yes. we go through all the arguments for and against, whether we agree with those arguments or not. So actually we've heard up this really good exam uh, list of arguments for and against, so that if we ever come across the situation where we're trying to fight for uh, filming council meetings, we've got all the arguments at our disposal to we'll knock down the big cricket bat. Will that include what to do when you're arrested? <laughs> middle, of the middle of the afternoon. Middle of the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, yeah, no, 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 Hi, um, Ed Hammond from Central Public Scrutiny. Um, I'd like to talk about councillors. Um, how councillors can more effectively use uh, local data, uh, either made available through sort of innovative technologies or other means, to make themselves more effective in both in terms of their ward work and the work that they might do through scrutiny. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Uh, based on the open data one. Then do you want to put that in with mine? Can, okay. we, can we join that with the open data because it's going to be the same conversation. It's the yellow one on the left. This one? Yeah. Blended services, how do we get away from having the digital service and the offline service and recognise that services have to be digital, online, offline, blended together, and particularly some of the frontline services, so probably following on from some of the on comms uh, and engagement side. How do we do frontline services, digital, not by default, but digital as, as part of that? Yeah. 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 Um, I'd like to run a pre-mortem on neighbourhood planning. If that's too specific, we can do pre-mortem on the localism mill. That's where we're going to show why it's going to die, but then we're going to work on what are the web tools out there that can help fix it. I'm running events with planners in Birmingham the following week, and I'm hoping I can bring uh, the local government camps ideas to that workshop. So if you can help me, that'd be great. Yep. Hello, uh, I want to run something about how we measure and evaluate the channels that we're using, particularly around social media, sort of justifying the time and effort that we're putting into it. Great, so evaluation of social media activity by council. Do you want to check that in with Ingrid? Yeah. It was, because she was talking about some else, but where about Ingrid's went. Uh, who's next? Toby? Yeah, hi, Toby Bloom. Um, if citizens are going to do half the stuff that the government will have us do, then we need to work out how we uh, make policy and decision making more accessible. So I'd like to discuss the visualisation of policy, which is an idea we've been developing as visual can. Okay, cool. Right, who's next? So, cousins, I want to think about, uh, discuss how we can use the television as a device to uh, encourage digital inclusion. 
Hello, I'm uh, Stuart from Litchfield and I have me, myself and Philip John from Litchfield Community Media have got a bit of a plan around uh, making Litchfield the, the uh, world's first open data city or the country's first open data city. I would like to discuss our answer. Um, some of, we'd like to Get some, get some ideas around uh, around funding and also get some ideas about what type of data sets that councils hold that are beyond the obvious. So I'll probably stick that in with Hadley's session um, just after lunch, but I just thought I'd, uh, I'd flag it up to see if anyone is interested. Yeah. Yay! <coughs> I'm, I'm totally lost where I'm going to put it, but uh, there's lots of great ideas about delivering change and so on, but one of the things that we're interested in is how do we prove that we're making an impact in the communities that we're trying to change? And what's that? What do we measure more than measuring the actual social media metrics? Okay. So I'll put it in. Do you want to yeah, we're. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Yeah. You're next. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Shy Girl. Um, we're from Police.uk and we want to hear about how we can improve the website, um, make more transparent what data we can put on there. If anybody's interested, we'd like so to work on that. Have a go at the police, I think. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm going to put it in. Will we get kettles in that one? <laughs> 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 Um, uh, uh, I had a session idea called Working with Geeks Betterer, how to sort of work more productively with your geeks, how to cherish your geeks. And, um, you're kidding me. Okay. Um, yeah, well, there. Eric Pickles is killing our cats newspapers. Most of us won't miss them, but what's going to fill the gap? Okay, what's going to fill the gap from council newspapers once they're all gone? No? Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking for a break. Yeah. Who's next? Uh, Nick Farrell from Firmstep um, uh, offered to a, a session on a case study <coughs> which we, a um, project we've done with Colchester Council around citizen self service, if you'd be interested. Well, that's quite interesting. Do you want to chuck that in here? Do you want to chuck that in here? Maybe in here? We'll do it later on. Who's next? That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Right, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Which means I think we might be able to put the now back here. <laughs> Oi, the now return. Yeah. The return of the now. That ring is too small. <laughs> right, okay, everyone. So all the sessions start at 11 o'clock. Uh, they last for 45 minutes, and then you've got 15 minutes to make your way to your next one. Dave, yes. Mention the, mention the maybe session hashtag thing that might not work. Okay, so Harry had this brilliant idea, right? Whereby there are lots of interesting sessions going on all the time, and obviously you can't be in all the one place um, at once. So you might have to know what's happening in the other one. And everybody, of course, is going to be tweeting away like mad about what people are going to be talking about. So we have numbered all of the sessions, right? So the way this hopefully will work is this. The event hashtag is local govcamp. So if you're on Twitter, use local govcamp, and then stick a hash.